What's going on guys? My name is Scott Gatos. I'm a low code developer here at Impact Networking. And I'm John Evans. I'm the director of solutions architecture here at Impact Networking. And we're gonna answer some questions today. Can you explain the difference between traditional coding and low code? Yeah, of course, for sure. Low code uses little to no code to build complex web applications, you know, slashing the development time and really making it six to 10 times faster um, that these applications get to market. Traditional coding, you know, it could take years for someone to really become an expert in their specific language, right? Um, with low code, you know, we kind of set the developers up to take a few modules through our online training um, and then they are ready to kind of get their feet wet and start developing stuff. Okay, John, so what kind of business applications can you build using low code development? Uh, we can build low code applications that are deployed on a, on a phone as a native mobile application. We can build them to be deployed through uh, a browser. We like to look at these broad buckets and say, does it fall into, say, an operational efficiency application? But the biggest one that is probably the most exciting is when we find uh, use cases that meet uh, new business models. Anytime we have a customer that meets multiple of those buckets, that's really our best use cases. What are some good software options for SMBs that are interested in low-code application development? We looked at um, OutSystems and uh, even like Microsoft, but ultimately we ended up with uh, Mendix. So Mendix is kind of a developer's best friend. It's easy to use, um, it's quick to learn, it's built with all these kind of pre-baked functionality and pre-baked -pre features mm -hmm. um, that kind of make development seamless, right? It allows you to really customize the application any way you want to, um, really get creative and build whatever you want. How involved are customers during the low-code application development process? We use a project management methodology called Scrum, and it, it relies heavily on collaboration not only between our teams internally, but also with the customer. We're looking to develop and deploy some increment of the product within a two-week time frame. So if in the course of planning that next 10 days of programming, we discover that there is a flaw or the customer has redirected a priority, right? We're able to very quickly shift between those particular items that need to be completed. And then we, we lower the risk that we're going to do it incorrectly. Inside yeah. 10 days. yeah, exactly. How do the tools influence your collaboration from a development standpoint? Um, you mentioned the Agile Scrum methodology um, and these two week sprints. Um, so Mendix kind of allows us to build a backlog and it kind of outlines all of the work that needs to be done within the next two weeks, right? And then if you've turned it to the flip side, you got a product backlog that kind of gives us all the work that needs to be done for the application in general. So don't other MSPs kind of use the same process? What makes the impact process unique is in the beginning of the engagement, we actually have our solutions architecture team and our business development specialists that work together with customers to uncover exactly what it is that we're attempting to build. We go through a fairly exhaustive, what we call an assessment process to find all of the, uh, to find all of the small features and all of the things that are gonna build value in the application across that development time. So from there, what we do is we take that roadmap and we sort of lay it out into a draft sprint plan that's gonna cover the entire development of the product. And this helps us build the initial product backlog. Uh, once we define an MVP, we look at the overall process and a draft sprint plan, then we really feel like we're able to, to to execute on that. So that's part of what makes Impact unique. Obviously, we have great people uh, doing development, doing the solutions architecture and product ownership. And then we've also integrated the uh, Scrum methodology as far as our delivery goes. So all told, those pieces really make a unique experience that we found successful for our customers. And this has been Ask Impact. Oh, okay, so, dude, he almost got her. <laughs>